Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S. It is now launch time, and this is the full version of the game, where we finally made it. So, Dragon Quest XI S is now out, and we have the full game in our hands. So, we're going to continue off where the demo where we left off last time, obviously. So, as you can see, it says continue from demo log. I'm so excited to jump into this. I've waited so long for Dragon Quest XI S to come out, and it's finally out the full version of the game so last episode we finished the demo actually we got to the end of we got to the gate towards galopolis and we had to stop there but fortunately we can continue from here so let's go continue from demo log so i can continue from any of these spots and the most recent one was it looked like this one right here or, yeah, yeah, that's that's about right. Seven, six, six hours, 30 minutes. So we'll continue from this part of the demo. So, here's what happened so far. This is so exciting. Start live Zoom. What is live Zoom? Oh, okay. Uh, with Hendrik and a horde, horde of Hel Heliodorian soldiers hot on their heels, Chief and Eric have hurled themselves through the door of departure. So we're finally uh, through the door of departure, and we... Decide to help Veronica. And we saved Serena and all that stuff. Okay. Let's dive right in and try to see all the good stuff that we got right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the 2D mode. Now, I asked a lot of people what they wanted, uh, what, what version of, uh, they wanted me to play, right? Either 2D mode or 3D mode. And I've decided that we're not going to strictly stick to one or the other. We're going to kind of go back and forth between the two and just pick and choose whatever is most convenient or whatever we feel like. That's essentially how the game was designed. The game was not designed to be played in one mode or the other. It was designed, you know, so you can check out 2D mode sometimes and sometimes you can check out 3D mode. So how do we do this? Do we we go to here? Ah, here we go. You go to a, a, a uh, statue and you can use a statue to play in 2D mode. So, would you like me to request that those who guard and guide us change the very way in which you see, see the world? So, after changing the worldview, you can return to any point in your adventure thus far. Interesting. So, you save first. Oh. It's a new adventure log. So, it's a brand, brand new adventure log. Don't even have to, don't have to start all over. That's the coolest way to do a demo, is to allow you to uh, pick up where the demo leaves off. So we're going into 2D mode now. So where do you want to begin your two-dimensional adventures? Wait, there's... You can choose chapters. Look at that. Starting point, you can choose any starting point. Wait a minute. A brand new bridge. Strange surroundings. If I... A new 2D mode adventure log will be created. So it's a brand new adventure log? L let's try this. We'll, we'll save it into number two and we'll give it a little go.
Well, I'm still level... I'm still the same level, it looks like. Oh, look at that. The story so far is like... It's like old school style. Same stuff, but... They, they really warp me back really far back. And the mighty forces of benevolence watch and protect our poor child. So here it is, the 2D mode from Dragon Quest XI S. Oh my, this is really far back. I didn't even save Serena and Veronica yet. Uh... I'm, I'm still the same level, though, looks like. Uh, this is really, really old school. The menu system, the, the dialogue box looks like the uh, way it looks in the DS games. If you just press B, they, he automatically talks to you like that. Alright, that's really cool, actually. So, let's see what happens if I talk to this guy. Eh, he's one of the se seller guys. Now, this looks really good. What happens when I go in there? That's interesting. I don't remember that being in the original. So this must be some new area, I guess. This is all really weird, but this this looks really nice. This looks like... It looks like Dragon Quest Three on the SNES. Even the sprites look really... They look solid. Uh... Well, let's head off into the open world, the wilderness. And the music is still orchestral. So let's let's take a look at the music. So... Oh, claim special rewards. Oh, check that out. There's some new rewards. So there's a baby boar set. Veronica's costume. Maybe we'll we'll check out the rest of them when when we go back to 3D mode because I want to see how it looks. Uh, character builder has that look in 2D mode. It looks basically the same, except it's a little more pixelated. Interesting. This is like if if Dragon Quest XI was made back in the 90s. It's a, an, an official 2D remake. So soundtrack. That might work a little bit better for the 2D mode. Right? But we'll, we'll stick with Symphonic. Yeah, that's better. Now, we should be getting random battles from now. And you see how he has, like, Oh, what's this? Group of She-Slimes appear. Why wow, is it slow? This is really slow, actually. I gotta say. Uh, so the the slime, the enemies don't seem to move. They don't seem to do any movement. Interesting. That was really slow. I gotta say. Oh, cool. We level up. Eric. Uh, no. Lava lump. Interesting. So... Ah, crap. How... So, yeah, uh... Depends if you, if you... If you don't like, um... If you don't like random encounters, you're probably not gonna like this. Come on, Kifli. Alright, good. All right, hopefully we can make it here, wherever, whatever this place is. I don't even know what this place is supposed to be. Oh, it's Hato. Well, this, the entire layout of the map looks totally different because it's in 2D now. Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. You gotta make your own voices because you don't have voice actors in the 2D versions. Oh my goodness, this guy. Alright, well, too busy to bathe. But off the journey. Alright, so we're probably gonna meet Veronica soon. This is basic this is basically a repeat of the last episode. Now the real question is, do you wanna sit through me doing this all over again? I don't think you do, right? So I think I have an idea. What I might do is Damn, it's it's not as 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 go back and forth as I thought it would be. Oh, there's Veronica. There's no way to treat a lady. 
That sprite of the dude looks nothing like the actual character. Hmm. Could be worse, I suppose. Interesting. So, a lot of the emotions of this cutscenes are kind of taken out by the 2D mode, but I do like it, because, uh, you know, I like old-school RPGs. Oh, that's nice. He looks kind of like he's holding a lightsaber, doesn't he? And there's there, there's the two kids um, playing, running after each other. There's the bathhouse. Uh, the weapon shop. This is a lot simpler, I gotta say. And as you can see, the... The entire interface is very, very old school Dragon Quest. This look, this is kind of like the DS games. It's more like the DS games than the SNES ones. Uh, and let me guess, this guy up here is gonna give me a, a quest to get some stuff. Wait, where is it? Where's that dude? Yeah, this dude right here, right? Yeah, he'll give me. Who's who's the guy's gonna give me the iron ore? All right, we'll head over to the bathhouse. We're, we're just going to do this real quick, and what we're going to do is we're going to head back to 2D mo 3D mode, because I'm sure you want to see the how the game proceeds from here. I'm just confused how it works. Uh, sure, I'll take my clothes off. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's his sprite with the, with the luminary sprite with his pajamas on. Oh, who... Oh, is that the women's section? I'm guessing the men are not allowed in there. Now, uh, last episode we did, we sh I showed you how to sneak into the women's section. Maybe we can do it again this time. Uh, yeah, I saw Veronica. Haven't... Alright, it's Kid's sister. Oh yeah, habit of causing headaches. A lot of the emotion from the cutscenes is kind of are kind of taken out from the uh, the 2D version. So I don't know how I feel about this font. <laughs> I feel like they could have gone something a little more old school looking. Uh, so there's Connie. She looks completely generic. Connie. Yep, that's Connie. Alright, so she joined us. We go through here, we head back. You have quite a nerve. Okay, so you can sneak through the women's section. I can't believe they, they threw us all the way back here, though. That's a little bit, uh... Surprising. Is this the puff? This is the puff puff girl, right? Yeah, sure. I'll get puff puff right in front of this kid. <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. Puff puff time is done. We'll head on back and meet Veronica. So. Yeah, I am a little confused about how this works. Why did it send me all the way back here? Of course, that's not her sister. Yeah, there's not much to comment on since I already did this part. Okay, that's not her sister. I don't have any brothers or sisters. Lost my dad. Nosy, Noah, whatever his face is. I listen short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. 
I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, I'll take a kid to a bar with me. Veronica. Don't worry, we don't have to worry on those dunderheads anymore. Okay. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, it looks like we don't have much time. Or much choice. Let's hit the bar. Alright. I still can't work out how you thought a girl whose dad was missing was looking for her sister. Okay, um... My British accent's really bad. <laughs> Come, change your clothes, friend. No, wait, that's not what we're here for. I'm not here to, to get undressed in front of these people. Alright, uh... The bar was right here, of course. Fish returns to the tree, what can deter her? She's with us. You have a problem with that? The fish has a chaperone. She is welcome here. <laughs> All right, so she, her giving the, the guy that, like a, a sticking her thong, a tongue out at him, that was completely lost in this also. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? And Serena? Yes, now I recall, the young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. All right, so did she say where she was going? Uh, westward she wandered. All right, idiot, whatever. She was kidnapped when she was in the bathhouse. I'm not helping you. Have you ever heard of a thing called chivalry? It means that when a damsel in distress asks for your help, you say yes. So will you help me or not? Okay, fine, I will. Because we took the knight's oath. Okay. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're going to be able to keep up? Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea, and mighty magician can keep up with a riffraff like you any day. <laughs> and his face, when, when she said that, that's also lost in translation. Alright, let's head out. Oh my goodness. Okay, Serena and her happened... I don't know how I feel about this whole 2D, 2D thing. I kind of want to head, head back to 3D, but I didn't realize that you could only do it at the beginning of, like, a chapter. Oh, wait, wait. What happens if we try going back to 2D now? Or 3D now? Because I'm really not sure. Because I know the 3DS version, you can just switch back and forth, like, on the fly. But this is different. Come on, where is it? So there's a chapter select in this game. I know the in the the church. Oh, the church is just a dude. I forgot about that. Which is 3D mode? Oh wait, wait. Uh, let's save first. Let's save in the second the second slot. We're still doing draconian quests. All right, uh, we're going to continue. For God's sake, okay. Uh, we're going to switch to 3D mode now, since we saved. This is going to be confusing. All right, so... You can only, you can only begin where, damn. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're not going to uh, play the part we already did in, in 3D. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to 3D mode. And then when we get to the next chapter, we'll switch to 2D. Because I do not want to start the freaking Jarvis dungeon all over again. So, uh, can I get the hell out of here? Oh, I, I know how to, like, Getting to the main menus is really easy. All you gotta do, if you press B, by the way, uh, you automatically talk to your party. Commandians like, like in, like in Dragon Quest uh, Three. 
No, not three, the uh, DS games. All right, so all right, we're gonna head to the title screen now. I'm gonna load. I know uh, you might have wanted to see the 2D mode. I gave I gave a little little look at it. But what we're gonna do is continue the 3D mode because I'm not losing all that damn progress. We're gonna head on head on over. And then hopefully the 2D mode will allow us to pick up where we left off. All right, so here we are. The map, the cryptic uh, crypt. All right, so Galopolis will be down here. The epic, epic quest onwards, and my buddies are all following, following behind closely, and they're all running. I really like how you you notice how the characters all follow you around, and in the original Dragon Quest Eleven, they didn't do that. They it would they would just kind of absorb into you, and you'd be like, "Where the heck are they?" All right, here's the big open world. You get to avoid as many enemies as you want in the 3D version. It's always nice. A lot of people are going crazy by the 2D version, though. I gotta say. All right, there's uh, the rabbits, and this is where the the demo did not let me pick up. TikTok, TikTok. Oh, what is this? This is something new. This is not. This is not the original. If someone doesn't step in to save the day, tick, Tickington's time is well and truly up. You clocked me. Can it be true? Can you really see me? I can see this guy. Wow. He was invisible. Oh, so only the hero can see guys like him. His name is Ickle. He's a tackle from over. Uh, taking ten way, and we need your help. We're having a terrible time of it at the moment. Can I? Sure, I guess I can be his hero. Uh, Chief, are you talking to yourself now? Has the sun gone up to your head or something? <laughs> well, the clock is ticking. Okay, ticking ten. All right, so we're gonna save our journey. I I guess this is new. This is completely new. This is not not in the original. I can see why they ended the demo here then, because there, there's immediately something new then. So we're going to Ticking Ten now. Wow. So we're we were forced into two D mode. Looks like. So now we're in his weird village. Looks like you clocked me too. Tackle village. Equal to tackle. Uh, I think we might need a little background here. Like, who are you? Where are we? And why the heck are we here? <laughs> okay, so. Their sworn duty to make sure that time flows as it should. This is very early in the game to be to be talking to these dudes. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Like I don't want to spoil stuff from the the game, but you're not supposed to know anything about these things until later on. Like it's I'm surprised that they're talking to you already. The luminary, welcome to Tickington. You must mustn't waste time talking to me. The mayor's through this. What, there's even a little hotel they have? Tacos. So this must be where the mayor lives. Let's look around, though, first. What's the little guy's name again? Ickle? wonder what his deal was. So she likes tacos, their little bellies. Uh, Veronica, what a taco say to job is to make sure time flow. Okay, so... Whoa, this is a red one. They all make clock puns, these tacos. What is this? Alright, here's the mayor. 
Wait, this music, this is the Dragon Quest 3 Erdrich Dream music. What marvelous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My name is Stickle, and I'm the mayor of this fine place beyond space and time. Now the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a sacred mission, and that is why we have sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that sit on the altars around us. These sacred volumes are inscribed are inscribed tales of hallowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Okay, so they've created a place. The Echo Chamber is a sacred space where their adventure logs of all the hallowed heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time. An unknown miscreant. So these are heroic happenings of the past. Before you dive in, you must first learn a sacred incantation that will enable you to turn back the clock. So if you found, find one of my friends here in the course of your travels, stop a moment and speak with them. With luck, they will have learned of words that will help you enable the journey of the past. So... He learned a password. Okay, so he's gonna tell me the password to let me go back into the past. Interesting. Oh, he just told me the password. It's a password, get it? Not, not a password, a past word. Uh, you can b visit Gallenholm. That's from Dragon Quest 1. And Dragon Quest 3 also. Why not strike wild times on your side? So this is Gallenholm. Alright, well, let's see what my team has to say. Wait, uh, learn the passwords, but go inside the books. Uh, someone's trying to read your history. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one for each Dragon Quest game, and this is Dragon Quest One. So this is Gallenholm. Wow. All right, let's head. Let's head into Dragon Quest One world. This is pretty. This is this is really intense. Let's let's go. Gallenholm. Yeah, there's three different areas in the Dragon Quest One book, and Gallenholm is the one. Uh, the Bard. Uh, you know, Erdrich's. Uh, Erdrich's friend, the Bard, who founded his own town, is north of is north of Tantagle Castle. I remember this town really well. Let's see how let's see how closely it matches the original. Very sinister music. Oh man, there's there's already monsters attacking, and this is the music from Dragon Quest One, the battle music. All right. I'll Hit these guys. Oh, Veronica freaking destroy these guys. Why is it so slow? The battle system's so slow in 2D mode. There's gotta be a way to speed it up. There's no way it's this slow. Alright, let's let's try speeding up the battle system. Battle speed fast. All right. I don't pretend to be easily impressed with something. Wow. So this is Garen's to Gallon's tomb. It was Garen in the in the uh, flee from these guys. Oh crap! Fleeing is always a crapshoot. All right, let's sizz. Or Veronica destroys these guys in one hit. She's already way tougher than them. And Eric just grew it, gained a level. Nice. Yeah, let's give him. Let's use the skill points. Why not? Let's see. That's Dragon Slash. Uh, increase the attack. 
Oh, he already has that. Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, this is Galen's tomb, which is where his uh, harp was located in the original Dragon Quest. You had to go into here to find his harp, and the harp you would use to eventually find the Dragon Lord and fight him. So let's see. Uh, the dwelling place of Galen, who the tomb take his name. A foul monster taken... Okay, so... Okay. A quest. All right, let's go. Let's go into the into the tomb. All right. Ah, oh, crud. A fromage fray. A fromage fray. I get it. He's cheese. Crap. He really hurt. He really hurt Veronica. Wow. Oh, no, shy box. Uh, does he have a medicinal herb? Yeah, use that on Veronica. Crap, crap, crap. Holy. He is really tough. That dude almost killed all of us. Okay, okay, I'm gonna steal this loot. Give me that. Medicinal herb. Oh my, and we're carrying a freaking coffin around. We're... Dragging a coffin around. Where is... Okay, I'm, I'm running away from this dude. Screw this guy. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. He... This guy's really freaking tough. Ah. Uh, flee. Oh my gosh, we're dead, we're dead. Alright, she, she just psyched up. Or she, um, pepped up. Jeez. She just de she just delaying the inevitable. All right. Come on. Oh, she's dead. All right, this is way too d difficult for us right now. Let's just. His attacks, I did not think it would be that tough. We just got killed. Welcome back, Luminary. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll talk to him later. Screw this guy. TikTok. Yeah, whatever. Okay, pass. The info menu has passwords. Look at this little guy with his little bow, bow tie. Now, wait. Here's my question. Can I look? Can I go into first person mode? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Does the game look better than the demo? I don't know. It looks, it looks a little bit better. He's dancing. Alright, uh... Let's just head over to Galopolis. I think we wasted enough time. Here's my pass. Galopolis pass. Humble woodcutter. Oh, a flint. We met him. He got turned to a dog. All right. You know, I've been thinking. <sighs> All right. The castle. What does this little thing have to say? You can get shy pox and try and talk to your own friends. I didn't know that. All right. Let's head over. There is Galopolis. The town's name is a pun on galloping because it's a horse riding town. And that tent right there, that's a circus that's visiting Galopolis. So there is no there is no first person mode in this game, it looks like, at all. They took it out. Interesting. Uh Hmm. Alright, let's head over. 
That was quite quick. We managed to get here. The Cowardly Prince is going to be... Well, you know, you'll see what's going to happen next. Here we are in Galopolis. Not quite as vibrant as the P the PC version was. I, I I can already see it. The PC version was bright. It was like it was like you were in the desert. But yeah, it's not quite quite nearly as vibrant, but yeah. Eric's all about business. He's gonna get all pissed. Oh, let Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. All right, so they're gonna be sightseeing, I guess, while me and Eric look for the branch. Oh, look, it's a knight. Welcome to Galopolis, home of Erdogan's most magnificent horse races. The races are all open to all. Simply pay a visit to the stables on the west side of the city should you wish to participate. Oh, and these women are going to be talking about Ferris and how much I like him. Oh my goodness. His Highness. Wait till they get a load of what he really is like. Yeah, the town's not quite as... It was very, like, bright in the original. Oh, and you see the girl off in the distance? Her... Our animation's not quite as smooth. Alright, so uh, what I wanted to do, actually, right, was get my rewards. Claim special rewards. Now, these are from these special rewards. Baby boar. So that's an, a costume for Veronica. These special rewards are free DLC that's available in the eShop. You can get them right now. A Trodane set, so I can dress up like 8 from Dragon Quest 8. Oh, Dragon Quest 8 soundtrack. What? I didn't know about that. You can now choose the Dragon Quest 8 soundtrack as a music that will play when you're outside of battle. We'll, we'll do that in one second. Uh, Happy Adventure set? I don't know what this is. This is uh, a Seed of Skill and a Pep Pop. Wolfware. This is for Eric. Uh, Vest of Success. This will allow us to get more EXP. The Elevating Vest. This is really... You need this for good level grinding. Alright, now... Uh, hello. Soundtrack. Non-battle music. DQ8. Uh, yeah, let's try that. What if I... Is it gonna turn to DQ8 music now? What if I head out? Let's let's, t let's test it out real quick. I gotta see this Dragon Quest 8 music. Oh wow! Look at that. That's the overworld music from Dragon Quest 8, and it, it's in this game. Huh. Well, that's cool. But it's non-battle music, so the battle music doesn't change. Is it gonna change now when we get to the city now? Oh, the overworld music just changes, and nothing else changes. All right, whatever. We'll we'll change it back. I kind of I kind of like the I like the Dragon Quest Eight one uh, Eleven one better. It's uh it's more epic. All right, so let's walk around and talk to people. Oh, what is this? this guy has a little quest for us? Special branch. There's a valuable branch that the, the Sultan owns it. Sultan has the branch. Okay, cool. 
Oh no, this guy's getting chewed out by his girlfriend or something. <laughs> he steps in horse poo. <laughs> Get out of my sight. I wish I was doing something cool like Prince Ferris. So she's angry at his, her boyfriend because he stepped in horse crap. <laughs> I just wasn't looking. <laughs> That's the funniest thing that for her to be angry at him about. I didn't realize there'd be so many horses here. I didn't know where to look and I was just going and splat. A little bit of horse poo is gone and ruined it all. <laughs> okay. This game's too much. Uh, oh, here's an armor shop. I don't have a lot of money at all. But we let's see what we got here. I do want that. Wait. Can Veronica wear a bunny outfit? I didn't know she can wear that. Um, dancer's costume. That looks really good on Serena. Okay. Let's equip some our friends with some their new outfits. So, oh, that's not even good. The wolfwear. So this wolfwear, right? It was designed by uh, Hiro Mishima, the creator of Fairy Tale. That's his thing. It looks like something from his one of his mangas, right? It's, it's cool looking, but it's not. It's not as. Uh, it doesn't protect as much as the chainmail. The chainmail is better. Well, no, this this increases your HP a lot though. It's actually kind of cool. All right, we'll we'll keep it on for now. Um, I don't know, she her cat outfit, the baby boar outfit, right? All right, that this is actually really good. This increases everything. So okay, she's dressed like a baby boar now. That's cool. Um, Serena, what does she have? Uh, nothing special. Yeah, she doesn't have anything special. All right, let's see my freaks. Where are they? Oh, they, they ran off. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot Veronica and Serena ran off. Oh, no, they, there they are. <laughs> Look at Veronica. That's a really nice little outfit she's got. Have a little look around the town before I head to the palace. All right, and uh, we'll see what Eric needs to say. What's up? All right, I want to I want to explore a little bit before we go see the Sultan. He's from Porto Valor. The prince's birthday. So this guy's from another town that we might visit in the future. Well, that's a nice little. That's a nice horse. I wonder whose horse that is. Maybe. Maybe this horse belongs to somebody important. Uh, this is one of the circus performers. <clears throat> oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's watching the great Silvando. He's a huge fan of Silvando, but he is too nervous to tell Silvando how much he means to him. Well, look at these jugglers. And this old man right here, what do you have to say? Sand National. The Sand National would be the horse race that goes on. Ah, oh, here's some kids. I'm Sharuk. No, I'm Sharuk. Isn't Sharuk the name of the horse? <laughs> that's that's Faz's horse. Here comes Sharuk. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't get old. That never gets old. What? A second time? Okay, now let's see what he has to say. The kids are playing. So sh they both want to be Sharuk. Or will be Sharuk. Oh no, his horse is not racing. So he has no chance of being Faz. Fun fact. Faz is actually the name of my brother, and it's spelled exactly the same way as the horse rider um, in, in Galopolis. It's really funny. And what's funny is my brother is also really into horses, and he rides horses. I actually showed it to him, and he was like, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, hey, watch this. And I, I, I boot up Dragon Quest XI, and I was like, check out this guy. Like, guess what his name is going to be? And his name is, his name is spelled exactly the same as my brother's. Greetings, I'm Faz, the winner of last year's Sand National. However, I expect a far closer race this time. Prince Faris promises to be a worthy opponent. 
So Faz is the number one racer, and his horse is named uh, Sharuk or Sharuk or however you pronounce it. I wish he had a voice actor. He's a cool character for an NPC, like a random NPC. He's the best horse racer in the world. Um, what does this guy have to say? Good girl. Okay, so let's let's head over to the Sultan. Let's we might, we might as well go meet him. Be like, hey, I'm the Prince of Dundrasil. Give me your money. Now that would be a bad idea because the Prince of Dundrasil is a wanted man, and everyone thinks he's a dark spawn. And they're trying to kill him. Okay. Oh, these guys are going to a fight. Everyone wishes for Prince Ferris to win. He's a fine horseman. I cannot see Faz being beaten. Especially as, he, as he's riding Shark or Sharuk. Uh, you believe Prince Ferris will win this year's Sand National, right? Uh, no, he won't because I will win. Prince Ferris. That's funny. All right, let's let's head over. What are these guys saying? Cool, look at that one. What is that? His girlfriend or something? She's like, ah, she hates horses. All right, we'll head on over. Go make an uh, an audience with the king. Oh, this guy. So this guy's gonna give me a little side quest. Oh, he said he used to be a horse. Are you kidding me? Won't they be annoyed by some strangers walking up and saying hello? This, that's like real life logic applied to an RPG. Or his crossbow, right? Oh, he he hasn't. He's supposed to give you a quest. I forget what ha what what you do to get him to give you the quest. Anyway, we're going to see Sultan of Galopolis. He's a very chubby guy. He's very short, also. Oh, what does this got to say? And as you can see, the soldiers are hard at work training for the next epic battle. And they have lots of cats around the around the temple or the palace. Cats everywhere. Wait, can you pet them? They meow. And of course, this, this is Prince Ferris's uh, bed bedroom. Oh, he's got some treasure here. Time to steal an iron broadsword. Uh, hello. Wow, it's actually worse than what I'm holding right now. My bronze sword's better. Crap. Uh. Let's see, iron broadsword, same same amount of attack. Uh, I guess I could rework it. We'll maybe try reworking it, and we'll make it look, we'll make it better. All right, so we're gonna re re rework that iron broadsword. Oh, some good books here. Power positivity. One should always be positive. I agree with that. Negative thoughts are not good, actually. Because they make you look weak as a leader. Uh, just gonna dig through his drawers. Other cap. All right, let's go talk to that Sultan because this is getting annoying. That team time. <laughs> They're wearing their costumes. Marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such, you no, no, no. An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave immediately. Ah, here he is. The man of the hour. Father, my training is complete. 
his voice. <laughs> I love his voice so much. Father, my training is complete. Pledge of the Night. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong, uh, unflinchingly, yep. <laughs> and never retreats in the face of adversity. He stuttered a little bit there, but he, he got it right. Uh, who are these people? These random people in my castle. You are a man now, Faris. And tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Hot West, he will disappoint them very, very much. <laughs> Oh, he's noticing something about the luminary. He's like, hmm, interesting. Something about him. What is your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? I bet you're wondering why he's so interested. So I tell him, hey, listen, that rainbow, I need that thing. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. He says he's gonna give me the rainbow. That's that was quick. I wonder what's what's in it for for him. Why would he just give away the rainbow just like willy nilly like that? Maybe he's trying to trick us. So let's talk to the Sultan, and that's that's his mom probably. I say. The Kron Sultana is the Sultan's hundredth wife. <laughs> okay, that's weird because she is the Sultana. She was making a rumor about herself. Did you see that? I didn't think that was, that was a lie. That's his hundredth wife. Oh my goodness, I, that, that, that's, that's, that's gold. The Kron Sultana is the... You saw that. that she, I just saw a person lie about themselves. Saying that she is, she's like, oh, I'm his hundredth wife. That's like the weirdest thing. I can't believe she actually said that. It's like such a crazy coincidence. Oh, hello there. There's no time for audiences. No, oh, screw you. Okay, fatty. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's head on downwards and talk to Prince Ferris in his room. Ah, uh, my good friend, Prince Ferris. Ah, you came. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. One who knows horses. I think you you've caught on to what he's what he's getting at now, right? you seek is a priceless royal treasure my father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger however he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son i have but one small favor to ask in return but here 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 comes of course of the circus will protect our privacy will you join me there help <laughs> Oi, what are you saying we need that bro <laughs> she got pissed off what the hell's wrong with you of course we'll come to the circus with you your highness we love the circus your highness i'm sure it will be wonderful then it is agreed 
I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. I'll be as late as I want. No, I, the knight's the knight's oath is not to not be late ever. All right, same stuff he's saying again. Uh, let's see what the, the the team has to say about this. Yes. We're on a circus with a prince. Oh, she's very enthusiastic about this. Oh. Kind-hearted, generous young man. We gotta learn something from him. Oh, she likes him or something. Look at the way she's looking at it, at the screen. What's up? The prince hasn't figured out that you're the luminary. He still doesn't trust him. Yeah, he's right. We can't tell anybody that we're the luminary because then Hendrick's gonna show up and he's gonna try to kill us. You know, you know that that feeling. So we should get the heck out of here. So Prince Prince Ferris wants a favor, and in return he'll tell he'll tell the Sultan to give us the, the rainbow. It's got to be that easy. So so far, Dragon Quest XI S. The full version of the game is really it's really living up to what i thought it would but you know what let's go ahead and we'll actually save at the church we'll save and i want to see how the 2d mode will work now that i've come to well, now that i've come this far right Saving on my 3D mode. Alright, let's try playing in 2D mode. Let's see what happens when I do this. So the, the 2D and 3D mode, modes are kind of like two separate games, in a way. So l let's see what happens now. Okay. O for the rainbow. So the way it works is you have to stop. You have to start at at a new chapter. Like, if I start here, it has to be at certain points. So, for example, if I go there, Maybe we should continue the 2D mode next time and just do the whole thing 2D mode. All right, so we've... All right, I see how it is. So we start off here and look at that. Look at the clothes they're wearing. They're, they have new sprites, actually. Veronica's wearing her Bora outfit like this. All right, we'll head on over. Yeah, I'll fight these guys. <laughs> oh, the fast the fast battle mode's really fast now. By the way, I am playing this with an SNES controller from 8 bit Do, so it, it's actually working really well. It feels very old school. Alright, uh, what happens when I go here? Okay, so here's the eight, the 16-bit campsite. L let's see what happens when you use a fun size forge in the 16-bit. Alright, so this is the 16-bit version of the fun size forge. Alright, well, let's reforge, let's re rework something. bag. I had that stupid iron broadsword, right? Or was it... It was the iron one, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna bash the middle part first. Okay. Oh crap, that was a little too close. 
praise pretty well. Hopefully it gives a little bit of a boost. Plus one. Not too bad. She got her magic powers back. She used her new look. Being a tiny little thing. Wait, what did she say? Is it stewing their brains in the bathhouse? Uh, so, uh, Serena and Veronica visited Galapagos before meeting me. It was a rather fun place. There was a lot more people in Hato. Interesting. All right, let's, let's head on out. Well, actually... Yeah. This is a little more fun because you're being forced to fight to fight guys. That must be. Oh wait, that's crap. That's that's the that's the cave where I had to save Veronica from. No map. Oh, wait, there is a map. You press Y on the... <sighs> Spoke too soon. Alright, uh... What? Holy crap, I'm about to... Holy... Serena, please heal. Thank you. Holy crap. That lump mage almost killed us. All right, so level increased to level 10. Ah, uh, not, not enough skill points. All right, we'll, we'll continue on. Uh, we need to head down here now, I believe. That was a quick fight. This this is much quicker than the regular fights now. Crap. Okay. What if I try to flee? What would happen? Oh, okay, nice. Successful. Alright, this is the door. The gate. That's how the gate looks now. Lops of the proud, proud nation noble knights, been your best behavior. Oh, I'm a very well behaving person. It looks like this is 60 frames per second also. Alright, the layout's relatively the same. Ah, crud. Okay. Some of these bird guys. Oh, these guys, they're tough. They're, they're tough. Holy. Oh, thank you, Serena. Don't, don't. No. Oh, Veronica's about to die. Please kill him, please kill him. Okay, we gotta flee. We gotta flee or we're gonna get killed. No, no. They're gonna kill- they're gonna kill Veronica. They're gonna kill me. Okay, okay, we, 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 we gotta get the heck out of here. No. No, 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 no. I can't believe I just got killed by these stupid- these stupid- <laughs> I can't believe I just got killed by them. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. W one more time. Let's go, let's go. We're just gonna bolt to the to Galopolis. This is hard because you can't avoid the guys. Thank you, Veronica, for I'm having I'm letting them them do whatever they want right now. I'm I'm only controlling myself and Eric.
All right. Good plan. Let's keep moving. Hopefully we can make it before an encounter pops. Oh, okay, come on. All right, that's fine, that's fine. We'll kick his ass. Oh, wow, that's... He's tough. But my, my mage is tougher. <gasps> Thank you, Veronica. Veronica's so tough. She's so good. She's a very good girl. Always saving the team. Alright, so this is the new... This is how Galapagos looks in 2D mode. The racetrack where they love to compete. All right, so Eric ran off. Or oh, no, wait. So Serena and Veronica came here already once. So we already went around this town already. Oh, look at this. What's going on here? Oh, she thinks I'm handsome, huh? She wants to give me the priceless gift of Puff Puff. Well, I'll take my friends here with me. Oh, just me. Okay, I'll, I'll leave my friends behind. I think she likes you. Oh, my... Okay. Oh, in the bathtub? What? Oh, wow. I can't believe this is actually happening. Puff puff. That tickles. Uh, not bad, eh? Give puff puff enough, I do or her. Oh, my goodness. This is messed up. The, the dad did puff puff. This is screwed up. I'm not even gonna give my girl any funny ideas in you Yeah, well, you're giving funny ideas. So, uh, how was it? Sounds magical, right? Shall we get going? <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember um, the IGN reviewer, Jared Petty, was complaining about that scene, saying that he didn't like it. I thought it was kind of funny, though. Silve. Oh, the, the circus, you can sneak in. Oh, hey, honey, how sweet of you to come back here to see me. Are you a fan? Yeah. You're here to show you how to wait long. Oh, he's a nice guy. And that must be a circus uh, owner guy. The ringmaster. So they signed up the great Silvando, one of the world's top performers. Oh, wow. So he's like a... his own man. Well, that's good for him. I wonder what will happen if you tell him that you're not one of his fans. What do you say? No, I'm not one of your fans. <laughs> oh, he said there's no need to be shy. Okay, uh... Let's go check out Prince Ferris and... See what's the deal, the deal with that, and then we, and then we can save. And I think we'll continue on uh, with a 2D mode. So what I think we'll do is we'll kind of just jump back and forth whenever it's convenient, whenever we want to, because that's part of the fun. Oh, so the little girl's up there, the VIP seat. Hey, that archer dude's not here. That was a wizard guy. The end times are coming. Holy crap! This guy's nuts.
<laughs> remember my words, remember them all. I don't remember this dude in the, in the 3D version at all. I don't remember him. Well, let's go talk to Faz. He's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Uh, it's a royal dressing room. Ah, there he is. Alright, cool. We'll head back now. I really do like the way this looks. So, where's that gir a girl grilling the guy who stepped in horse crap? Like, the girl yelling at the guy. He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Are they not in this version? Like, did they get rid of some stuff? Because the girl, the the girl and the guy who were like yelling at, each, the, like she was yelling at him because he stepped in horse crap and ruined her whole vacation because of that. Should be around her somewhere. All right, let's head in. Oh, it's 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 nighttime. We gotta wait till daytime now. Alright, let's go to the inn. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you ever get one of those days? Wait, wait, let's explore the inn a little bit, too. Oh, what, what's going on here? Oh, this is the horse poop person! This is funny. Okay, th this is probably gonna be our room where we sleep. You want to be a witch? Lamp posts, wizard staves, and trippy, tricky turbans. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff we made. We found. All right, so let's uh, stay. Good old stay at the inn. Alright, let's head over to the Galapagos dude, the king, or sultan. Look at all the cats, holy crap, there's even more cats than there was before. Great many cats, the knights are not a beast. The knights don't like the cats, so the, the maids have to take care of them, looks like. Alright, let's head up here. Hello, Galapolitans. This is Ferris in his 16-bit form. So, hey, I wonder what how the uh, the horse riding mini game is going to be with in the 16-bit version. All right, let's go talk to the prince. All right, same typical stuff. His room actually looks a little more like a bedroom this time. It looked like more like a chamber before. All right, so this is the part where he tell he asks us to see him at the the circus. I say no, and Veronica gets mad. Well, what are you saying? We need that, need that brunch. And of course, she says she'll go. All right, it's planned. We're gonna go meet the prince tonight at the circus. So you know what? This is a good little look at Dragon Quest XI S. I gotta say. Um, let's go save, and we'll continue here. 
putting on our second second save file. Very interesting. It looks very good, actually. Alright, so I think we'll end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Um, I'd like to hear some feedback. What do, what do you think about this? What do you think about the 2D mode, the 3D mode? What would you rather see more of? I think most people want to see 3D because, you know, some people are just prefer it. I kind of think there's a lot of charm to this, though. So, I don't know. Uh, should I do 3D, 2D, or a little combination of both? Let me, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.